Hi YouTube, this is Cognitive, I mean this is Omegon. I hope you're all having a lovely day, evening, night, morning. Today I wanted to air some of my own grievances that have occurred over the last couple of days, culminating with me having to use Hangouts, as you can quite clearly see, to do a stream because of issues. <sighs> So for context's sake, I'm going to start from the beginning. A few months ago, I did a crowdfunding thing through GoFundMe, because the laptop I'm now using was then three years old. It's now three years and however many months old, and is incredibly slow. To the point where, to render a ten minute video, it would take all day, and I couldn't use that laptop. <clears throat> anyway... I was, after 24 hours, able to raise £920. My original target was 850 After GoFundMe's cut, that would go down to about 750 ish And I was able to get a laptop, but I realised with 920 I got 840 I think? And I noticed for an extra £40 I could have gotten, I could get, sorry, a better version of the laptop I had originally selected. So, after doing some overtime, I funded it myself because that seemed sensible. You've thumbed this down already. I've been here like two minutes. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, I ordered the laptop and I was very happy. Now I should take the opportunity now to apologize, not only to the people who helped me, but to also those that recommended I get a desktop. I said I'd go with a laptop because I didn't have space. I don't really have much space. I'm in a box room. I didn't have space to put a towel in place or my monitors. They were, right, they were right. I should have gotten a tower. Easier to fix when there's a problem. And I had a problem anyway. And to the people who funded, because this hassle is... It's not really fair, is it? I don't mean to myself. I mean, to, it's just... They helped me so much. £920 is not something to sniff at. That's something I earn in about four months of working in real life. Now, the issue I had, the issue arose two days ago. And two plebs, I will get to you in a moment, I promise. I'll DM you myself. Um, the problem arose because a Windows update occurred. Now, I didn't really think much of it. It's Windows update. So I went to bed, and I woke up the next day and went to play Arkham Origins. I was about two-thirds of the way through it, and I thought, let's do some more. Some poxy error-coded thing popped up, indicating that the graphic driver needed updating. Now, this is something I hadn't noticed, but NVIDIA GeForce Experience hadn't been downloading the updates and alerting me. In fact, it had never done it once. It didn't work. So when I tried to, it failed on the download. So I went and manually did it, and that resolved that problem. Great. Last night, I went to stream with Irate Bear, and there was an issue with OBS. There was no long... NVENC was something that um, I could use for game streaming. It's an encoding part. You had um, QuickSync, Times264, and then NVENC. But I couldn't access it, which was fine for the stream, because it wasn't a game stream, it didn't matter. If I didn't have access to it, though, after, because I'd intended after that stream to do some Vermintide with some of my uh, Discord fan, friends. Fans. Fucking hell. That sounded arrogant. Some of the people I talked to on Discord. Friends, mostly. But I couldn't, so it was recommended I check to see if there was an update. And I went onto the NVIDIA website, and it had, in fact, indicated there was an update. So I thought, well, it's only been a day. <laughs> okay, fine. So I installed it, and then it said restart, and I did, and this is where we are now. Because after that, it restarted again and again and again. I could log, log in, but it would then just die. Go blue screen and restart. And this happened several times. I thought, let's tr go through all the troubleshooting things I knew I could do. It's Windows 10, most of the stuff I know is for Windows 7. Not the same, oddly enough. And 
I tried to do, uh, I even went so far as to try and do a system restore. Go back to factory settings. That seemed re reasonable. No, 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 no. See, this laptop has a 128 gigabyte SSD. And some genius thought, I'm going to install the, the operating system on that. And even if I try to delete everything in the process, it's like a failsafe that isn't, in fact, a failsafe. So if I go ahead and do that, and Davey, we're getting to that as well. Um, so even if Windows had, in fact, erased all my, all my files, there still wouldn't be space on the SSD to reinstall Windows, which makes absolutely no sense. <sighs> anyway. Today, I got up and called eBuyer, the site I bought it from, and they're trusted to me because I bought the laptop I'm using for this Hangout from them three years ago. And they were very helpful. They first of all created one of those little tickets and said that they recommended I get a replacement. I'm fine with this. To be honest, I'm not. I'm actually pissed off. I want a refund. Can't get a refund. Fucked off, though. Beyond belief, I could actually get a better tower for less. This, this is how much I'm annoyed now. So they put me through to a phone number, and I was on hold for 15 minutes. At the end of the 15 minutes, I got the, uh, the all our operators are busy right now, but if you keep holding, and then it cut off. I thought, hmm, that's odd. So I called eBuyer again, and they gave me an email address. And I then emailed whoever it was, and I waited for about an hour for somebody to email me back, and someone did. Not from the department I emailed, though. And all they did was correct a minor detail within my email, which made no sense to me. After about seven or eight messages, I asked them why on earth they felt the need to in intervene within, a, within, a, within an email to point out some petty little detail that, quite frankly, was not relevant to, to them at all, for them to moan at me for continuing to reply when all they're doing is telling me to call the same number that I've called today total 17 times because that's what i was told to do to keep trying even though their line doesn't work <sighs> how very useful so i emailed another department and now i'm waiting so i tweet and i also took the opportunity to tweet to them because this is how much it fucking irritated me i took to twitter and after hours they replied to me, telling me that, what was it, the phone line is experiencing some issues. No fucking shit. Honestly, the fact it took you after business hours to finally tell me that is ridiculous. And you did reply something, something else, I believe, about telling me to contact different departments. This isn't rocket science. All you have to do is con call me and then collect this laptop and give me a new one. That's all you have to do. All I have to do is sit back. Although, quite frankly, with me not being able to get through to any of you, having some busybody intervene and, t and t <laughs> continually tell me to call you, but you weren't even picking up, continually, quite frankly, being utterly useless like your phone line, is ridiculous. And I, I find this fascinating. You, you, Any company, any good company, would value customer service and loyalty, and I chose you because... This previous laptop still works. But you don't have customer service. You really don't. I got better response from eBuyer. And hell, I managed to make a five-minute call to my landline provider, my internet provider, to upgrade my package because I've had it, well, my contract expired. I had that resolved in three minutes. All the while, I was still on hold, waiting for you guys to bloody well answer the phone. And it does come to the point where it does get to a point where you sort of sit back and you're like, "Why did I bother doing this?" Because this laptop, it is a good laptop. I was able to stream my stream games. I was able to wait, um, make videos in the back and work on other projects in the background. But now I'm sat in a position and I'm like, "I should just get rid of it." I I I don't see the point in having something that doesn't work. And this is where we get to the new problem, because um, I believe a gentleman, oh, something plebs, um, he, he, showed, he linked me an article on Twitter, and I went through it, 
and I managed to get into safe mode, which was great. And I uninstalled OBS because that caused a crash and also the recent update from Windows. And I thought problem solved. An hour later though, it just did it again. Uh, and uh, upper bend, if I pick the box up, the uh, model is a GL553V Asus ROG Strix. It's not actually a bad laptop, but the continual crashes. Yeah, two plebs talk news, that's it. You gave me the solution. Unfortunately, an hour later, it decided, no, 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 no. We're going to start doing it again. I was watching Worski Live, and it just started doing that horrible, like, picks a piece of sound and just and restarts. <sighs> the only positive I see from this is that I can get under safe mode at least and get my files off it. But I don't like the fact that under one year warranty, the only best that Asus can do if they actually bother to respond is send me the same bloody thing again. And yes, it's Windows 10. Basically, upper bend, I installed a Windows update happened. I then had to manually install an NVIDIA update. And it decided, no, 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 we're not going to work for you anymore. So we're going to make you do another update to NVIDIA and then just start crashing repeatedly. And it's done that ever since. Quite frankly, I'm like last night, I've, I've never gone to, I've never gone to bed so pissed off and hot headed because something so, so trivial couldn't be resolved. I thought I could fix it, so I went through everything I knew I could do, but now I couldn't do anything about it. And when some solutions were provided today by anyone but Asus, even Satyritian uh, sent me a message on Skype recommending I rip a copy of Windows 10 onto a disk and do it that way, which I'm reluctant to do because I think that would be bad. You know, even with all that help, no, 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 it doesn't want to work. I really... I, just, I, 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 I somewhat take offense that I trust, trusted Asus because of how good the previous laptop was, how well it worked for me for so long. And I feel that trust has been blown. And I would say EE's on similar thin ice with my internet package because I'd been on their internet package. I had the contract for what, two and a half years and I wasn't getting the upload rate that I was supposed to get. I hadn't noticed until I started actually streaming with OBS which I now can't use on that laptop because if I go near it, it, it crashes as well. It crashes the system. Yeah. Uh, yes, that probably is right. I, I do think... Oh, I feel really... It's really irritating because I don't like fucking around with programs. I don't like messing about with them. I think I just like to leave them alone as long as I can do what I want to do. I don't really care. But Windows 10 is absolute dog shit. And somebody rightly pointed out to me, um, I've only had it for about three months at most. Two months? Three months? Yeah. Um, like the, um, okay, so somebody pointed out to me, I think it was Laura, pointed out to me that um, NVIDIA and Windows just don't get along. I'm starting to think she's right. Because GeForce Experience didn't work at all. It really wouldn't work. It download failed every time. And I was supposed to have gotten a... Uh, copy of Rocket League with this laptop, but I couldn't access it. And I did call them about that, but guess what? When I first called them, when I first got the laptop, yeah, no, I couldn't get through to them then. That was nearly three months ago. Your customer service is dog shit. How much of an insult, how insulted should I have to be before you actually do something about it? And this is why early, all, all that I was doing today to try and get it fixed and all the kind people that were helping me to then not get any help. And then for you, Asus to try and take the bait and or, or get involved. Where, where's the second one comment you left me, you bellends? Where is it? Come on, I'm going to find this quickly. I'm going to read it. Because there was, there was one, the phone line's experiencing some issues. Where is the other one? Because there were two comments you left me. And one of them was about the phone lines. The other one was about calling a certain department. It's like you're trying to cover yourselves. I think you've actually deleted it because I can't see it. I think that's, if you've done that, by the way, that is really cowardly because I never got a chance to reply to you and tell you 
just how fucking stupid you are. I had far better luck talking to, to Toshiba seven years ago when I had one of their satellite laptops. And that was not a good laptop. I think you've gotten rid of it. I think you've deleted it. Yeah. Yep. Well, well, that's uh, that's lovely. Thank you for that. What's that in the chat? Yeah, okay. Satellite, oh man. To be fair, that was something I used towards the tail end of university. It wasn't for gaming, it was just for writing documents and stuff. But I had better luck with that. I'm now, I'm sort of, I spent the end of this day looking at, um, after work, looking at towers, and I was like, if, if I can't get, if they don't bloody well contact me tomorrow, I'm just going to demand a refund, and then if I can, get a desktop instead, because I just can't be bothered I don't like being messed around. And no, I don't think it's an excuse. Just a statement of fact. I, I'm really not a fan of being screwed about. And I, I do like to believe I'm somewhat patient. I, I don't generally lash out. But I also don't like it when my time is wasted. And that's because I think time is somewhat valuable. And I think it's a waste of my time to sit, sit around on hold. And I think it's a waste of my time when you don't reply to your emails. Because I did send one to the correct department this morning. And I got no reply. To then get some busybody trying to direct me elsewhere. To then have you idiots on Twitter try and direct me to different areas. This isn't rocket science. This is not some complex issue here eBuyer have created a ticket that says replace the unit. I don't need to go to a different department. I need one of you idiots to collect this one and give me a replacement. Or give me a refund, because honestly, at this point, who the fuck cares? You want to hear angry squiddy? I, I had to scroll up in the chat. I don't generally get very angry. How old is this new laptop? It is about two to three months old. And I've had to put it down because my frustrations were increasing a little. And I don't want to be that guy. Like, I've played games that make others want to put their fists through monitors, and I don't generally... You know, I just carry on, keep trying. This bothers me so much that I wanted to put my fist through the monitor. But I don't want to void the warranty. I want to, I want to make it. I want to make that point quite clear to Asus that they have they are they are legally obligated obli ob obliged legally obligated i'm not even englishing properly at the moment they are legally bound by that warranty which i have not voided they're bound to help me but they won't yet all day they had the chance but then they blame it on all the little things they can rather than simply just offer to help which you could have done on Twitter when you engaged me. Was it so difficult to do that? No, no, but you bloody well didn't, did you? And I say, <sighs> it really irritates me. It re really, ah, oh, I don't know how to explain it. Best I could do is just explain the story and say, that's what happened. Yeah, your customer service is dog shit. Just saying. So while you're advancing your systems to somewhat reasonable levels, but when I can't use it to make what I'm what what people crowdfunded to do, I kind of think you're taking a shit on me at that point, and that's I'm not into that. I'm really not. Uh, no, I uh, to answer, I cannot return it to eBuyer. Because this is done through Asus. Asus? Asus? Apparently. Um, I did ask them about that, actually. Um, and that's why when I called them, they forwarded me to the company themselves, who were then totally unable to answer the phone. You'd, actually, that's a point. With all the money they have, with all they do for their systems, you'd think they'd be able to fix the phone issue. 
I mean, if they've got an entire department of customer service advisors that aren't being able to receive the calls, you'd think they'd want to put their foot in, they'd want to do something about that and correct it, fix it. Yeah, I agree. I actually do tend to agree with you, Davey. And so tomorrow I'm going to call them and say, I've been through all this. They're not helping. It's now on you. Um, because they say it falls under warranty, which is down to ASUS, but ASUS aren't responding. But I think it should fall under eBuyer. And I think... I <sighs> oh, I'm going to call them tomorrow again and try and get that, see what they talk about it, because I don't, I think that needs to be explored and exhausted to see if it can be done by them. But even then, I don't even know how quickly they can do this, because this old laptop, this is what really, another thing that really bugs me, is that this one takes forever to render, um, and that that's a problem. Um, it's slower, it's very slow. Oh god, it's slow. Um, I won't be doing any game streams, can't do that. Can't do any OBS-related streams on this laptop. It can't happen. It'll have to be through Hangouts, which, which is somewhat annoying, because, you know, I'd, I'd, I somewhat grew somewhat accustomed to that. It was quite fun. It is good fun to use OBS. Um, even though um, OBS kept moaning um, when I was doing Left 4 Dead that the CPU usage was too high uh, whenever I did Left 4 Dead. So I changed the encoder from times 264 because there are only three options: times 264, quick sync, and NVENC, which is which is where the problem arose last night. I never got a chance to actually stream with that setting because that setting offset the issue with the processor, which was brilliant. And I think, uh, and so, and last night when I went to stream with the bear, it said that that was no longer supported. I was a bit disheartened because I'd finally found a solution that would make it so I could play Vermintide uh, live stream it without it glitching or being buggy because I'd had the internet fixed and I, I, I raised the bit rate and it was all brilliant Actually, I tested it it looked great um, to now <laughs> to not be able to do that on a laptop that should be able to handle it which is really irritating I think with what you what you pay, especially with it being so expensive. I mean, I, I say that as I mentioned, eight now even nine twenty. It's, it's a lot of money to to be given by so many good people to then not be able to use it because not be able to use what I bought because updates. <laughs> I can't even uninstall. I, I managed to uninstall one update. Windows did, and I thought that was the end of the problem. Which, which I, you know, uh, which was great, but then I realized that there was probably a graph because I have the graphic driver being in, re, uh, updated twice in two days. I thought I, I might have to figure out how to undo that, but I, I can't. And yeah, Eldritch, it is a good game. Yeah. Um, so I'm not sure what to do right now. Overall, because I'm really irritated with Asus for not getting back to me, but then doing it uh, from the wrong from somebody in the ne in the in a different country in the freaking Netherlands, not even the UK branch, right? Just sticking the nose in from the wrong department, um, or their little shitty snide little bits on Twitter. Which, by the way, if if they reply again, I'm gonna bloody well get blocked. I'm gonna be very rude to them. Not happy. Because obviously I've got work in the morning tomorrow, um, and my intention is afterwards it was to start making a video for Sunday, but on this laptop it's ah uh, it's going to be slow. It's a slow process, which is fine, I guess. I know that um, there has been someone that's offered to help by making videos for me. I'm not going to do that. It's my responsibility. And clearly my mistake. My mistake was not getting a desktop. And uh, yeah, that's a lesson learned. Because if I can't get this problem resolved tomorrow, I'm just going to tell them I will be pursuing... Uh, I will be, I'll be pushing for a refund. Because even, even though it's gone past that 30-day refund guarantee or whatever it is, this is 
This is ridiculous. This is an actual insult. And I don't I don't think that's right that that I get fucked around anyone. Uh, yeah. I I'm a reluctant rude person, okay? But on the phone, I, I could be a dickhead. I could be a really nasty guy. I, I'm very if I know I'm being screwed about, I get very impatient. And that impatience it manifests in a more na- more na- more snarky way. No, 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 it's all good, mate. You don't have to render anything for me. It's it's just a hassle. I just need Asus to either get back, to actually get back to me, which they probably won't on the weekend, which is great. Or I, I need to, I'm going to call eBay tomorrow. Tell them what happened and say, "Look, I'm not I'm dumb dealing with them, so it's on you guys." And since I bought it through you, I think you guys owe me because I I I really do think at this point it's even if they did send me a replacement, I think I'd be better off getting a refund at that point because I don't see it being beneficial to me. Yeah, I use high performance anyway. Thank you anyway, though. You, we, Kato, Kato. Uh, yeah, I can't pronounce that. Sorry. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, I was thinking if 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 I'm going to be sent another one of these, and that same problem is just as likely to happen again, I may as well just get a refund. I may as well just get a replacement. Hell, I'd settle for a replacement. To be honest. If the replacement wasn't this laptop. <laughs> Hello, Irate Bear. So what I'll do. I'm gonna go to my notifications. Um I'm gonna invite someone on. Because I did say I would. Um if you give me a moment, just to talk about this and other stuff. Right. Where are you? There you are, right. New message. Webs, there you are. Uh, control. Yeah, another issue with this laptop, this old one, right? I've had this so long, but there are intermittent issues with the keyboard. I have to keep flicking between. I have to use an actual wireless keyboard. It it is just magical. It's it's not. Uh, yeah, it is. And by the way, hello, masked babe. It is really annoying to spend money on something. I think it's more annoying because this was funded by, by, by you guys, and some of you I know in the chat did in fact donate to it. And I feel really bad that, you know, the whole point was to be able to make better content, and I can't do that. And I think that's really, that's it is. I mean, I I would say it does affect YouTubers somewhat. It's kind of a job, I guess. It's not. I don't really treat it like one. I think that's for the best. I think that would make it harder for me to want to make content. But at the same time, I really want. I had all these. I've got these really good. I had all these. Have all these. Had a, try again. Have all these plans for what I want. I want to do. But to do so, I'd need to use something more powerful. And this one I'm using at the moment is not it. The one I would be using, and if it hadn't crashed repeatedly, is sat on my floor in a corner facing actually it's not just sat in the uh, on the floor in the corner it's facing the corner i've literally left it open facing a corner it's like it's like i put it on timeout I, I i think i should probably not talk about almost humanizing my tech it makes me look like an idiot If you're free, I read Bear, before you go on your Ghost Poo podcast, I'd love to throw you the link. Just chat for a little while. Oh, hello. I can't hear you. Let's you try are. now. Bingo. There we go. How are you, sir? Not too bad. Uh, better than you, it sounds, actually. Yeah. My patience is certainly worn out. Your idea earlier, I, I managed to 
get in through safe mode, um, which I didn't know how to do on this laptop until it, until I went on that link you showed me. Um, yeah. And I only installed the security updates, and it was just running fine. But then I went to click on OBS, gone. <laughs> so probably part of your problem is that 10 downloads updates in the background and then installs them without telling you. So you uninstalled them and then it reinstalled them for you. <laughs> and yeah, then... I bet it did as well. Cause you know what happened when I turned it back on a couple of hours later, it said run updating. What? <laughs> yeah. Sure you enough. Stupid piece of shit. Yeah. There's, there's ways to get around that, but I mean, if you're going to return it anyway, then you know, don't bother. I'm going to wait for them to, to at least, honor the warranty but if i'm not going to get anywhere by tomorrow by the end of tomorrow it's, it's i'm just going to ask for a refund i don't think i can get a refund though it's after 30 days i don't think they're going to do it probably not um i i they're like that truth be told asus makes great products but well usually makes great products but their their customer service has always been kind of crap so well, i've never had to deal with them before so this was new. i i've been involved in customer service when i was younger you know i used to work in it but this is just it's unprofessional yeah um you, you have to anyone i have ever known that's gotten any traction with asus uh i threw a link in the side chat there oh, yeah I see. it is really just you like forcibly start the rma process and then eventually they get back to you and then they have overnight shipping and all kinds of stuff oh really so, <laughs> it's weird very interesting i will be doing that after this that's very interesting interestingly ebuyer where i bought it from from had started rma process but then they'd they they don't cancel it. They leave it in a limbo state while a Asus um, deal with it on their end, but they didn't. Obviously, I kind of yeah, I don't. I, I noticed in the specs the one thing I do think there's a failing in this laptop is that the 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 core is a two point is a two point five. That that's quite weak. Yeah, the after they started going multiple cores, everybody stopped caring about speed. So mm. the only issue really is that I noticed whenever I used OBS. When the because of the cut because it was it's a high CPU usage so it went grainy as hell and it just dropped when it was a nightmare, which is why when I saw that NVENC thing in OBS and used it and it resolved the problem I was so happy until they stopped last night. Yeah, uh, that sounds about right. Uh, you assuming you ever have that problem in the future, you can dedicate uh, programs to cores. Specifically, I'll I'll send you a link at some later date yes, about please. how to do that. And it just you know pick if you have eight cores, just pick core eight because Windows won't use it for anything. Mm -hmm. uh, if you uh, in general, it, it'll try to load balance, but whatever. But uh, it, it'll give you plenty of free processor time so that you you can actually just do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. This should happen automatically, but people have been asking Microsoft to do it for I don't know ten years now, so it's it's not going to happen on its own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and to answer the chat, technically it hasn't worked properly from the start because the very first thing I was supposed to have access to, I could never get access to. The laptop's supposed to come with a, quote, gift, which is a free copy of Rocket League. But every time I turned it on to start with, it it, put, it said, uh, path not found. So that, technically it's not worked from the start. Because I couldn't, I couldn't get that game. I was going to give it to somebody else anyway. I've already got it. It's been uh, such as the, the new wave of, of giving out free software. <laughs> Not going to complain too much, I guess. It was just some free thing. I, I didn't really. It wasn't what um, made me want to get it in the first place. It was just like this one has a better graphics card by two. Uh, oh, what was it? Oh, it's a ten fifty uh, Ti four gig DDR five. Oh, um, yeah. It, it, what about? The other one was two gig on the graphics, and the, the, this one was four. And I was like, "Well, that that that's better." Oh, it has an SSD. That's useful. But the operating system is installed on it. What the fucking hell was that about? I don't know. That that bothers me too with mine. But it doesn't there's... make any sense. It makes no sense. I have to install everything on the D drive. I don't yeah. get it. <laughs> well, so somebody somebody decided at some point uh, after Samsung did that that video with like 128 SSDs all rated, they they decided that the, the best thing you could do was put your OS on like raid SSDs. So you, you know, instantly boot your computer. 
as though we're doing that a hundred times a day and don't want the SSD for, I don't know, playing games. That's kind of what I thought it was for. I was like, oh, that's fine. I've already got a terabyte on this hard drive. I thought because they partitioned it, you know, yeah. you just use you'd use the other drive to back up files or just, you know, just put videos on there out of the way. I used yeah. it for uh, music because I've got fucking loads of music. <laughs> that's the way to go. But then, but then to, when I tried to do the manual restart and it uh, reset and it said there wasn't enough space, even if I deleted all my stuff off the laptop, I, I was like, why did you put it on the SSD then? That's probably because, um, so I don't know what you're using for editing, but like Premiere, which is what I use, dumps all of your, um, your, your project files on yeah. like C users video something Adobe something 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 yeah. and then uh, so like I, I drop five videos a week so after I'd had this for like I don't know two months or something it was like you're running out of hard drive space so I had to go track all of that down then delete all of them and I was back to like forty gigs used right that, that's that's a lot yeah so uh, I mean I, I use Vegas Pro. 14. Well, now 13. I'm on the other, my old laptop, so it's the older version now. Yeah, well, yeah. But, I'm trying uh, to start getting used to that one as well. Vegas Pro 14 is just looks more, more childish, really. Well, <laughs> that, really that seems to be the way to, that, that we're going now. If everything's not cartoony and stupid, we don't like it. <laughs> so... Oh, dear, dear, it doesn't appeal to the British at all. We, we Brits, <laughs> we like... We like it in. Uh, we like it to look in. Uh, we we don't. We like it to look like it's been written in old-fashioned English writing, loopy and yeah, not Comic Sans. <laughs> Times New Roman or get the fuck out. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So since uh um, well yeah, I'm I'm done talking about Ace Dismiss. I'll ask ask you. Um, you you very kindly helped me as best you could anyway earlier. Um. Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell my audience a little bit about your channel? Uh, sure. Myself and uh, my co-host Peter, who is just a longtime friend of mine, we talk about whatever it is that we find important in the news. It's about a 20-minute show per news story, so try and cover all the relevant facts plus some actual discussion about it. Do you um, want to put your channel on the side and I'll put it in the chat? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I really do appreciate that. I had Satyritician as well. He... he uh, Recommended safe mode and rebooting from disk, but I can't be. I'm not ripping a copy of it. I'm just not doing that. I, <laughs> I don't have any disks anyway. Do people still use those? Uh, somebody does, I'm sure. But oh, I, I, I don't know about yours, but mine didn't even come with a disk drive. But mine, uh, mine, mine does, but I don't use. I don't use it. I mean, I, okay, I've watched a couple of DVDs on it. Okay, fine, I, I do use it. <laughs> but it never occurred to me to. Uh, Use it. it. It's just sat there. I don't even. Maybe they could have put an extra hard drive there. To be honest, it probably would have been a better idea. <laughs> I oh, mean, that's... I would actually use that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Who the? F I, I mean, I use the. Um, you know, you get those DVD UV codes on DVD sometimes. I, I, yeah. That's what I do. I don't even watch the DVD. I just use the code. Yep. I just can't be I... bothered. Right. Well, I mean, it's. <laughs> Not, not to current year or anything, but come on, my house is, is wired for freaking everything. And maybe it's just because I'm a bit of a tech nerd, but, you know, I mean, I, there's I, a keyboard on my night there, uh, no, my, my end table next to my couch, so I can... Ten years ago, you know. I was that guy. I don't know what <laughs> happened. I don't know why it got... To, how it managed to get to the point that I was so out of... Then again, I realized it was with like with phones. After three months, your phone was obsolete. I, I, oh, can't, yeah. I couldn't keep up with it. I used to fix phones for a living um, for a company called Anovo. So I was actually, a, yeah. I used to fix Sony and Nokia when they were Nokia before uh, they were win no, had Windows phones. So the uh, Syrian uh, OS software before Windows. Oh, Christ yeah. <laughs> by, the way, by the way, I have accidentally misspelt that on Google to Sybian. That is not the same thing as Syrian. That is a fucking sex toy. Yes, it is. <laughs> I've done that at work. <laughs> I've typed in, I'm like, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Not my desk log enough. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure I am responsible for at least two or three company-wide emails that say, use the internal reference document as opposed to Googling things. Otherwise, you <laughs> you end up with yeah. sex toys. 
Yeah, I I I also had to repair BlackBerry back when they were incredibly popular. Oh god. Those, the the, the um, PCBs on the, them are so thick. They are really they're, they're as thick as a pro, uh, they're probably thicker than a normal computer's motherboard. I don't know why they felt the need to make them so thick. There's too many layers. You're not burning because... it to warm it up to try and try and solder capacitors on. Uh, probably because they didn't they didn't change almost anything for the entire life of BlackBerry. Uh, well, they're trying to catch up now, aren't they? Well, yeah, now they are. They've got touch screens and things. Where, well, the last time I looked, they did. But to yeah. be fair, my phone is a, a Galaxy like Note Four, so you know I'm probably the, uh, out of the way these days on phones. Yeah. I use a Sony XZ. Um, I was using um. Uh, Sony uh, Z3, but uh, I dropped it for the very first time in my life. I dropped a phone, and it got, what happened was it got, the phone case got caught in my pocket when I pulled it out, and it got caught and just fell. And I was like, I I, I wanted to cry because <laughs> I had that phone was like it, I was gonna um I was gonna recycle it and it was gonna make a hundred pounds. And I was like, yay! Sent that wow. and broke with a cracked screen. I got nothing. <laughs> that was nice. That, that was... Cry. <laughs> that that sort of makes me uh, kind of happy that I I have the crappy insurance that is the very American insurance for phones because uh, hundred bucks and I'd have just ended up with a new one. <laughs> right. Yeah, we don't have that here. <laughs> well, uh, the the benefit of that is that you never have to deal with the terrible company known as Asurion, uh, and they are absolutely horrific about everything. So. <laughs> Someone in the chat once has asked, I bet your guest has a canoe. I assume that's in reference to all the wood behind you. <laughs> I do not have a canoe. <laughs> no, I, don't I do like the hat, though. That is very... That's a very British word. I like it. <laughs> Thank I, you. Was... I figured it, uh, it covered me appropriately. You know, This, yeah, this way, cool. no one can ever say I'm claiming to be overqualified. Mm. I want to get a hat with the word oik on it. Uh, oik is a bit of an insult for anyone who didn't go to the school Eton. If you didn't go to Eton, you were an oik. And I love the word oik. It just, I think it's just beautiful. It's close It's close to pig, oink, but not. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. <laughs> just, Have you ever. Just... Sorry, go on. No, go ahead. No, no, no. I just had some okay. shit. To talk, so have at it. I was going to say, have you ever had any experiences with a customer service worth talking about? Who? Uh. Dave and Based Mama, I think. <laughs> so I just bought my ticket to Kilroy like today. And uh, I was having a problem where I, I couldn't, uh, as soon as it would try and forward back to the Kilroy site so I could actually purchase the ticket, oh, yeah. it, uh, it would say that this has timed out. And so I just sent Dave a, a thing on Twitter. And uh, he was like, hang on, I'll have the tech guys on it. And that error was cleared up in like, okay. I don't know, Dave Cullen hours. is better tech support than Asus or Asus. Yep. <laughs> Asus. yep. I'm putting, I'm, honestly, I was so tempted to put, did I put dog shit in the title of this stream? <laughs> I put fucking awful customer service. I should have put dog shit. Honestly, Dave Cullen is better than you. I'm not, no, and okay, that's not, that's, not an ins that's not an insult to Dave. It's just the fact that he cares more than you do. Uh, he really does. Also, uh, <laughs> I wanted to go to that, by the way, but I, I can't afford that. <laughs> uh, it's a lot shorter trip for me. So, <laughs> to be f yeah, <laughs> you know, like I'm driving. It's it's close enough that I can do that. Wow, so. you're 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 in the Arizona area. I'm in California, but it's not that oh, far you're away. Poor, so poor, poor, you're in California, as my friends yes. call it. I've got a truck, I am... truck driver friend who goes through there a lot. <laughs> he's he's correct in calling it. I have him on stream sometimes. His name's Magnus Deacon. He's on. He's all over Twitter, being a dick as always, and <laughs> he just he hates California. Hates it. Uh, anyone who has anything negative to say about California should be listened to in general. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> because of California. I once mentioned that in a video, and I got. I think it might have been Kevin Logan, or was it Mabase? So. It might be Mabasi, some American, some scrawny little American dickhead, who who took 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 offence to this as if I'd coined this term. 
I just used it <laughs> because it was true. Right. I live in California. We've been calling it California since, I don't know, the 80s? I mean... Give it four more years at most, and you might have Bernie Sanders. He might turn it into California. Well, he's... Uh... He's going to be late to the party because we, uh, we're, we're everything that he stands for, like a platform kind of note. Yeah, we're already doing here. So, <laughs> I mean, it's like he says oh, like raising taxes. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh Isn't it, man! Did someone mention it was like forty-five percent over there or something? something uh, it depends on how much you make, but uh, when I was making. Uh, ooh, twenty twenty three dollars an hour. It was. It was. That sounds like a lot. I assume cost of living is very expensive, though. Oh yeah. Um. So the house I live in now is eighteen hundred dollars a month just for rent. So. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I can't afford that. I couldn't afford yeah. that in like three months of working. <laughs> it's California for you, though. I mean. Oh dear God. And Why do people I mean, like so much, though? Uh, so, if there weren't people here, this would be a great state. Uh, you know, there's there's an ocean uh, that that's over there on the west coast. There's there's a mountain range a little bit east of that. There's another mountain range between those two. There's a big desert in the south. There's a big open plains area that's lots of uh, fertile, beautiful area where you can uh, you know see basically whatever you want for nice plains. It is the people of this state that destroy it. <laughs> oh, I can't be doing with that. Too much for me to deal with. Yeah. It's uh, like when when the, the anti-social justice thing sort of kicked off on YouTube, I was like, man, this is like high school here. What do you... <laughs> yeah. It's been this way my entire life. <laughs> yeah. I'll be, to be to, to just address the tax thing for a second, we had a similar... We had a system a few years ago where if you earned over one hundred and fifty thousand pounds a year, your tax code was essentially fifty pence for every pound you earned. <laughs> so you were giving up half your salary. It was like there was no incentive, wow. to, and there was no incentive to earn more because you weren't going to make more. You were going to pay more in tax. Yeah, pretty much. And this is the problem I take with with the with the with the Labour Party in this country because they're socialists, but their solution is to tax everyone to the you know. T tax them dry. I'm surprised Corbyn hasn't referenced France yet, or maybe I've just missed it, because honestly, I don't pay anywhere near as much attention to your guys' politics as mine. It's, it's for the best. Our, our country's a joke. And again, I, I still <laughs> couldn't stop laughing that your president very lovely made a lovely little joke about Pocahontas. <laughs> People were he, like, he, he says Pocahontas in newspaper, they just say that, though. It's like, what? Did he say? What did he say? <laughs> but it actually, it was a joke aimed at that fake native yeah um pelosi is and she is i mean if, if you think you guys are alone with having crazy nut bar politicians don't don't think our stop at trump uh go what the hell is her name uh, <laughs> trump is at least funny in my opinion but uh what is her name the, the black one from or black lady from california maxine waters there we go uh go if any point google video of maxine waters it's yeah. she is nuts <laughs> i've heard of her I, I don't want to go near her <laughs> yeah i i feel that pain yeah i'm surprised oh dear right how long have we going for oh nearly 50 minutes that's not bad it's not bad i mean i didn't think i could actually manage to stretch out my grievances at this inability to get my computer to work properly for as long as I did. <laughs> the silly thing is I've got on the shelf here a, a Lenovo C40 touchscreen, but the only reason I don't use it is because I know it's not good enough. It's just, it's a very weak touchscreen computer. That's, I, I intended to just use the split screen as a, you know, another screen. Is it an all-in-one? Yeah. Does it have a, a USB slot on the side somewhere? Yeah, it does. Go grab yourself a keyboard and forget the touchscreen. Well, keyboard and mouse. Hmm. I think I might have to see if I can get it to uh, run Vegas and then just start using that. Uh, I'll do that tomorrow. 
because I've got work very early tomorrow morning. And I cannot be bothered for the life of me to do anything until then. Yeah, don't blame you. I mean, it's what is it? It's got to be getting late over there. You're. It's about five to eleven. Um, usually, um, because I've got to be up so early, I will be in like an hour's time. I'll be out cold because I've got to be up at six, and it's really fucking cold. <laughs> I don't normally feel the cold over here. I don't normally, but I think I think as I've gotten older, my body has decided your tolerance. We're getting rid of that. And, uh, well, sounds like how my life goes. So sounds reasonable. What, what are we talking about for cold over there? Because uh, you know, okay, I, I don't know how you do temperatures. Uh, I think it's like three degrees, which isn't really that cold. I think because of how it be, how we have drafts in this house, it ends up feeling colder than it is. I uh, gotcha. We have very so, old houses that just don't seem to. They don't. They don't serve as a serve their purpose of keeping the wind and the rain outside. Likes to bring it indoors. Well, that's where it belongs, right? Well, apparently, we're all due swimming pools. <laughs> Though, I, I hear this is not normally a problem for you guys. Like, uh, I forget who it was. I was listening to somebody talk about that uh, warm beer is a thing in England because it's never really all that warm and never really all that cold. Okay, I don't know if that's true or not because I've never had warm beer. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not stupid or uncultured enough to have such a disgusting thing pass my lips. I've had, I've had cold beers served to me, and then they've sat in my hand for like an hour, because I've been just talking to somebody, someone, and I've totally forgotten. And I've gone to drink it warm, and it's disgusting. It is not good. I will grant you that. <laughs> no beer should be consumed warm. There are a few drinks that should be, like I know, mulled wine, perhaps. We are, after all, in the correct month of the year where it should be consumed. Yeah, that would probably be good, but no, I... Uh, There's an apple cider that's good warm. That's that's about it. Ooh, uh, if you're going to go warm with, with cider, you got to go hot, in my opinion, though. Yeah, no, I agree. That I will agree. It has to be hot. You don't... I've got a bottle, a bottle I got last year of uh, oh, some kind of apple cider of some kind. And, uh, yeah, I intended to have it warm, but I gave up carbonated drinks. And I'm like, ah, oh, I can't drink it. <laughs> One bout of trapped gas, and I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. It hurts so much. Oh, uh, I, I completely believe it. I don't know. No, we're not having that again. <laughs> I'll just stick to whiskey and rum. That's the way to go, though. By the way, if you you are enjoying your rum, a uh, a a cheap alcoholic cider that the boss's wife turned me on to a bunch of years ago, go get just whatever your decent quality uh, apple juice is. Yeah. Throw uh, about uh, a gallon of it in in whatever pot. Throw in about uh, a liter or so of Captain Morgan, and then one or no two twists of. Uh, is it? Um, I want to say it's cinnamon, and boil it for I don't oh, know, fifteen sticks. minutes. Yeah. Ooh. And uh, it is it is amazing. And I got a friend who's in the chat of the stream called Laura. I know she's listening. <sighs> you definitely should. Uh, it'll it'll get you drunk, and you will uh, not notice it. So be careful. <laughs> oh, there was a drink I used to. Oh, I think it was, was it Perno. I could drink a lot of that, and you wouldn't notice. I, I wouldn't notice I was drunk. Or it was um there was something else you could just drink like fuck loads of apple sour shots. You just drink the whole fucking bottle and after about four or five bottles, you still think you're buzzed, but no, you gotta stand up and your legs are gone. <laughs> yep. I feel like I've been betrayed here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that that is exactly what that stuff uh, was, was like the first time it was handed to me. It was hey, here have a cup. No, here have a cup, because all of my friends are jerks, right? So, you know, oh, no, don't get up, don't get up. I got to go to the bathroom. Everyone starts snickering. You make it about halfway up, sit back down on the couch. Never mind, I'll wait. <laughs> I've done that before um, in a pub where after every pint, I chased it with a shot of a uh, double black Johnny Walker. And oh, uh, yeah. I hadn't realized just how absolutely smashed I was getting. 
So I went to stand up to leave, and I was with some with some Hungarian friends, and I wasn't the only person that had been affected. So he goes to stand up. Well, uh, Gabor, my my work friend, he, he stood up and went, "Ah, kurva!" And he just falls to the ground <laughs> because everyone was looking at him. Gave me a chance to use every chair around me to walk to the door while being held up by all the chairs and get in the taxi unnoticed. That's, that's why I drink at home now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can make an ass of myself and no one will know but me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I get that. It's, it's. Uh, I think I, I can't do that these days because I've got my nephew, my one-year-old nephew around. If I get pissed in front of him, I'm going to do something stupid. Yeah, that would that would make it more of a problem. But uh... this time of year, I like to drink uh, snowballs because you can get wrecked on. It's it's a drink called Advocat, and you add le- it's just that and lemonade, but it tastes like like candy. It's so good. Uh, Advocat Richelts or something like that. D V O C A A T. It's like a yellow gooey drink, and that lemonade makes a snowball, and it's it it tastes like a candy. It just tastes like a sweet, but it gets you wrecked. I once okay, no hey Laura, no joke okay. right uh, over Christmas I uh, a few years back at uni my second or third year fourth year sorry, um, drinking snowballs and wine about two bottles of bottles of Advocat later. We'd assembled the tree and all gone to sleep and woke up and realized we'd put it on, we'd hung it up upside down. <laughs> we'd all gotten so royally fucked, we hung it upside down. It was held together at the bottom with gaffer tape because we couldn't, awesome. get, it, because we couldn't get it to fit. You're like, something's not right here, just get some gaffer tape. We didn't, even, we, we, didn't, we didn't even bother to correct it. The top of the tree was the bottle of Advocat. Like, jammed. <laughs> we just like, we have to, like, Spectacular we angel. Do we fix this? No. No, no we shouldn't. <laughs> Actually, I, think, I think it's better because we could. everything hung so well from it. Are we? Top anyway. I think you could sit underneath it as well a lot better then. You know. Yeah, exactly. Presents sort of easy to get to. Yeah. <sighs> so Laura, as one of, as one, Laura, as one of those that contributed towards my laptop, do, do you want to deal with uh, a, a Asus customer support for me? Uh, no, because I have to deal with them myself on Monday yeah, as well. to You've return my Asus laptop, which also problem, keeps crashing. Yes. <laughs> I wow. play games and it just shots itself. This is why I gave you the hangout it link. It goes loads of little problem. squares on the screen and then it just goes and then blue screen death. I, you know, I, I just I would like it just to instead do that thing from Little Britain. The computer <laughs> says no. Yeah. That'd be so <laughs> simpler. I wouldn't be so pissed off. And I really was, if I'm like, doing things that don't involve the graphics card, however, like mm. things that are just processor um, dependent, it works like a fucking dream. It is fast as shit. It's everything I want. <laughs> as soon as I want to play a video or a game, it's like, nah, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I feel you there. Have you got Even a... in the middle of my game stream the other day. Like and that shouldn't be that reliant on the graphics card because I've got I use a capture card and that too. Um, Have you got a ten fifty as well? No, mine's a nine eighty M. Hmm. And I've tried so many of the fixes on the forums and stuff like rolling back the drivers. Um, I've oh, reset I couldn't, I couldn't roll back, back to factory settings yeah. and reinstalled I... it and that and. I didn't have access to rollback drivers on the graphics. Uh, the, the the button is there, but it, I can't can't click it. it oh, no, 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 no! I just went on the Nvidia website itself and then just selected older drivers and then just like picked a one at an earlier date and just went oh, through right, them right. all one at a time, yeah. meticulously. Oh, that sounds wow. like a lot of effort. It that, was. That, yeah, that is a pretty hefty amount <laughs> no. of effort. Tell me, tell me about your laptop, and I thought it was dog shit. I thought you were like describing an actual piece of shit laptop. I didn't realize it was actually an okay one. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I paid fourteen hundred quid for it. You paid it's more like, than what I paid. Wow. Yeah. Because of the memory and that that it's good on it as well. I honestly was looking. I found. I saw a tower, a, a desktop. Sorry, on a eBay for like five hundred and ten pounds, 
that was better than this laptop. And I was like, I should have gone with that. I really should have. <laughs> I picked this one because like when I was researching what laptop to get, I went on loads of like um I went on a few just normal like top ten laptop websites kind of things. And then from there yeah. I got on like forums of other people and I mean, there was two that stood out from everything that I'd read and I chose this one because it was a better deal. And yeah. So I, I I did research, you know, beforehand and that and like yeah. It's, I was like, get this, it's really good. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I feel kind of bad because I, I am almost certain that I was part of Omegon's research for getting this laptop because he, <laughs> I, I am right now streaming off the American version of the laptop that he is complaining <laughs> about. <laughs> no. Interesting, okay, so interestingly, I've never complained much about the previous version uh, that I own. It's an Asus X550CC. And it was re- it's a reasonable laptop, for, you know. For what I had, I got it a year before I started on YouTube. You know, it's not a bad laptop. I didn't play many video games on it. I played, okay, I played Euro Truck, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I say it quietly because I know it triggers the horror. Yes, laugh, um, laugh at him. Uh, oh, and Dawn of War, I played Retribution on it, and it wasn't bad. Um, but the intermi- I had a couple of intermittent issues, which is why I had to use a wireless keyboard, and it's the one in the E. Which annoyingly are in a password I used to log on. They don't intermittent issue where they don't work. I kept forgetting to bloody well complain about that. I really should have. Doesn't matter. It's only the only issue I have with it is, is those two keys don't like to work, and it, it occasionally disconnects on the inter- on the wireless. But again, I, that was an issue that arose more recently than later. Well, I think after three years, it kind of served its purpose well. Well, to yeah, be fair, I mean, up until the other day, the laptop did what I originally bought it for, which was streaming with yeah. my Xbox. It managed that perfectly fine without any problems. So I thought, well, this is kind of what I bought it for, really. So it, it is serving the purpose I bought it for mm. in that regards. I want to get this thing sorted. I do want to get it sorted down. during that I, as well. I do want to get it sorted because I do want to be able to stream Vermintide. Because you mentioned, obviously, you could have gotten it for free on the Xbox. You can't play that for, for, with me, of course. But if you do ever decide to get it. With Scott Diskinar and I, you know, you're welcome to join. It's good fun. Mm. It's a good game. I don't, although, if I can't get OBS to operate through that NVIDIA ENC, whatever it's called, then I can't actually stream it anyway because it's not supported. So I, I couldn't use it anyway. You should be able to use something else. So, Is there something else? Uh, yes. I forget what the guy's name was, but the one that was in the thread we were talking on Twitter had a um, a link to how to change that uh, and and use another streaming codec specifically with OBS. Uh, That's interesting, because that would actually be really helpful. Because um, I only found that codec thing the other day when I was trying to find a way to offset the high CPU usage, and then I found that by chance, and I was like, hallelujah. <laughs> and then I found out Okay, so my internet upload rate was horrific. But then I found out that in OBS's uh, default settings, the bit rate was only 1,000. I was like, huh, that's yeah. quite low. I should probably turn that up a little. <laughs> Do like, to, a, to about 3,500, and I did, and it was perfect. I was, and Disc and I was... Um, uh, he's a friend who gives me a lot of shit on everything. Um, yeah, constantly. Watching, I basically <laughs> gave him a link to an unlisted stream, and he was watching it for me. And telling me if it improved, and it was, and it finally ha- I could finally stream. I, I hadn't realized, but that meant all the Left 4 Dead streams we'd done were grainy as shit because you could because the bitrate was only a thousand on them. But then again, it was still working fine without using the uh, NVENC encoder bit. It was just the bitrate that was horrific. I don't know, man. My my uh, my OBS usage is so limited at this point, like. I've never run a stream off of it, so I'm definitely not the guy to consult. However, thousand bit rate, I'll agree, is is garbage. <laughs> Along with that, and the upload, my upload big bit being um, one uh, one point seven megabits per second instead of the minimum four point five. Wow! I was paying. Okay, in the United Kingdom, the highest you can get is ten. Oh Jesus! Yeah, Maybe and yeah, I've heard about a few other people, like uh, a friend of ours uh, runs a channel called Skeptic Llama. He has. He gets 
way more than us. I, are you fucking kidding me? And I sort of talked to my gog about this as well. He gets a higher bit rate than I do. Yeah, well, I'm get like really crazy rates. He does. I think Magog gets a bit higher. He's in the uh, he's in a, he's in around the area you are actually, Mister Pleb. <laughs> yeah, he is. Uh, I think he and I have, have talked some. That we are not are you that Discord, far apart, right? but we're. I you am. On, are you on Discord? That's cool. I'll he- I'll give you a link to my server. You're welcome to join. I'd love to. No. Ah, Tail says uh, Whitney's closing down. No. Really. What? Mm, apparently, you just pasted yeah. a link in the chat there. I've only just started uh, like making money on that site. <laughs> no, actually, I use it a lot because I, I, I upload videos a day early over there, but recently I haven't been able to because um, I keep forgetting to make videos. Um, that's really bad. Is it really? Did me is going now? Is it? Has it been bought out or? No, they they put out an article. To- Day, uh, it I says we it couldn't was... find this page uh, tailed. Sorry. Um, the link doesn't give me anything. 404, we couldn't find this page. <laughs> Maybe um, that's the link to VidMe. That's it. They can't find the page. It's actually gone. I'll type VidMe into... Uh, I'll go onto VidMe's website. It'd be really weird. Like Everyone uploads it a lot. I mean, I... I upload there. A lot of others do as well. Oh no, we're setting up. Vidme is shutting down on fourteenth of December. Oh. Are you fucking kidding me? Wow. Well, here's <laughs> a two weeks' notice. Apparently, we, we like. <laughs> I've been uploading there for the last few months as backups. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you kidding? Okay, no joke, right? I look at if I go to the monetize section, because um, you have to make a minimum of twenty five dollars before you get a payment, right? I've got sixteen dollars eighty four cents there. <laughs> I'm probably not going to receive that. Oh, probably no. Well, I don't know if they're if they're closing it out, maybe, but probably maybe, not. maybe. But at the same time, I was quite enjoying like growing that over there. Yeah. Oh dear. I, I, I couldn't I think, find sustainability. I know bit shootings. Uh, obviously, that is a concern when you're competing with YouTube. But then again, YouTube. Oh dear, YouTube. Mm. <laughs> oh. Uh, the adpocalypse yes. and everything else. Fucking hell. Yeah. I, uh, I most certainly started a YouTube channel at the absolutely wrong time because uh, I had my channel monetized for, I think, two weeks. And then they, uh, they yeah. did that thing where, like, hey, if you don't have 10,000 views, <laughs> so gone. <laughs> but they, they didn't actually demonetize my channel for, like, another four months. They just kind of left it there. Yeah. And so I started watching which videos they were demonetizing, and I got to say, I'm not all that excited about remonetizing the channel. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of understand that. I have a stream channel, which I could have done this on, and I should probably should have, actually. Um, but I unlisted... I basically took down all the old, really bad... Like uh, like the Cthulhu 2016 videos I did on there, that were just, but they had always got a lot of views. I had to make everything, I unlisted all the old stuff, and then had to make it public again to get it over the 10,000 view mark, just so I could monetize a stream channel. <laughs> just, I'm like, I may as well, I'm just going to wait for the time where I can then get enough views to be able to unlist the older stuff, just so I can at least stay over that little margin. For those extra See, one or two pennies. Let me monetize from the start. I don't, I, I don't. I think I've always well, had the option to monetize. Does it matter? Like, I'm verified on YouTube. Does that make a difference? I don't. I don't know. Maybe, uh, but I mean, if you had ten thousand views on your whole channel as of, I don't know, about six months ago, then it didn't matter. But yeah. when the first apocalypse was doing its thing, they they decided that channels that host ISIS content or something couldn't get ten thousand views, so they they said you can't monetize until you do. That's helpful. Huh. It was really helpful for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. Like, I've also seen people say that, like, they had to get to so many subscribers or something before they could stream or whatever. And I was like, um, I've always... Didn't they used to have stream. that? Um, <laughs> I think it used... To, oh, it might have been a long time ago. But you had to have a certain number of subscribers to be eligible for certain things. Like, you couldn't put custom thumbnails on. Unless you have a certain number of subscribers. I've been on Twitter, and that's less than, well, 
Well, these days you can't put custom thumbnails unless you verify the channel or something like that. Do yeah, that. I, I did that with the, with the game stream thing, and that was the only way I could do it. And I thought, fuck it, I'll do that. Then. Yeah. I've claimed I my custom that for a URL long time. now. Sorry? Woo-hoo. You have a custom... I've got my custom URL now. Yeah, that, that's... Uh, you both do, I think. Or something like that. Yeah, you 100 both. subs, yeah. Two plebs talk news being yours. I think yep. I do, but I can't remember if I actually did go with Omega or not. Or did I go with Omega Beta? Yeah. Omega <laughs> Beta. Yeah, it's, it's, I love that beta male has become so popular as a term because that obviously is the first thing people think of. Beta no, is actually the name. Yeah, beta is yeah, thanks. <laughs> beta is actually the name of the flagship Alpharius and Omegon fly on in Warhammer 40,000. Oh. It's just a happy coincidence that beta male exists and, of course, therefore, <laughs> I exist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. What was that with, like, what was it? Something stages to Kevin Bacon. Oh, what is it? Nine. I'm sorry, what? Was that game you can play where it's like nine? Is it nine steps to Kevin Bacon? Where Six you can see to Kevin Bacon. That's it. I. Uh, I have never heard of this. It sounds amazing. It's basically you can see anything, and within like six connections, you can end up at Kevin Bacon. Apparently. So, oh yeah. Okay, so- Originally, it started out as actors, but then it turned out you could basically connect Rely to Kevin Bacon in about a minute. So <laughs> amazing! It's like the absolute opposite, absolute opposite of like that other really famous actor who's so picky. He's only done like twenty films. Right. Can't connect him to shit. <laughs> Daniel Day Lewis is that it? Yeah. Uh, Daniel Day Lewis has done a decent amount of films. I mean, you, you could get to him pretty quick just for Gangs in New York. So. Okay, who's the guy who was Lincoln? Is that the same guy? Yeah, that was... Yeah, he's only done 20 films. No way. Over, like, 20 years. I think that's what it was announced recently when he said he was retiring. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're just all really good films, so everyone remembers them. So we well, got three like Oscars, so, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> right. It's not bad for 60. Wow, he really has. <laughs> so it's like 71. He's done almost nothing. Still, though, the, the way to get to him is is definitely uh, gangs in New York, because <laughs> there's plenty enough people there. That's a fair point. So, Laura, how are you going to get hold of Asus or Asus? Sorry. <clears throat> well, I'm going to try ringing them on the telephone. <laughs> really? The amount of times I called them today, I didn't get through once. You want me to give you the email address they gave to me to uh, um, to email them via you have to then use the serial number of your product and explain the fault and send them a picture of the proof of purchase oh um, which is the invoice basically really um well i don't go because like i registered with the whole asus people and everything when i set up my laptop and everything like that's when i go on it tells us all the dates and when i registered and when it was bought and everything like, was, I put the I put the email address on the side chat. That was the one that the busybody that had intervened in the emails that I'd originally sent gave to me. Like, y- you're involved in this and you can't even help me. I I, I could read this. Right, hang on. Where is it? Um, okay. Where is it? Where is it? Let's go up. Uh, where is the bit where she said? Uh, oh yeah. I okay. So the original email was sent to that email address, right? She then replies with, you can call and then reads out the number, the number I rang 16 times, or email to then that email address. I cannot help you as I'm from the DOA issue team, and I issue RMA for units that are sold to customer and they have a problem. She's not even the right fucking person. What the hell was she doing? (laughs) Wow. Why? (laughs) Why reply if you're not the right person? (laughs) <laughs> it's like I just replied I, I, to say, "Sorry, with, mate, but I can't help you." <laughs> yeah, I think I replied with, um, "Hang on, I, I replied with, I'm, I apologize if you are not the correct person to send emails to. Um, it might be an idea to contact the department and get them to fix that, as I'm not the only person." Oh no, no, that was the email. Um, where was it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Hopefully, they'll. Be, uh, oh, hang on, I forwarded the very first email to the email that you have linked, even though I'd already done that. Hopefully, they'll be able to respond. I only sent the email to that. 
I only sent the first email to the address given to me by eBuy themselves as they weren't able to get through to that number you have provided, which I have called multiple times, which you already know. Seriously, why did you give it to me again? Oh, and why on earth are you from the wrong department giving me this email address and telling me to call that number and telling me you can't help me when you tried to help me at the beginning when you're not related to this at all? Seriously. <laughs> what you, wanna, you want the real answer to that? Quotas for tech support. That's fine. <laughs> I can't help you is is a, 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 a what is it? They're a, fobbing you off. Right. Well, so uh guaranteed your Asus tech support guys have a, a certain number of issues they have to deal with like per day. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, all of them do. And so like, hey, I can't help you is is dealing with an issue, technically speaking. Um <sighs> You should have just typed back "can't" or "won't." Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear! I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> I, I really, I honestly, I don't think that person wanted to help. I think they just injected themselves because they're like, "I'm bored. Let's let's, let's just randomly interact with a customer and pretend yeah. to give a fuck." <laughs> <laughs> Problem is. I know they don't give a fuck. That's why I told them to fuck off. <laughs> you are not the right person. They they tried to engage me on Twitter. If they do it again, I am going to respond by being as brutal as I can possibly be. I'm not going to be nice to you. I'm going to make you beg to suck my dick by the time I'm done with you. <laughs> oh, dear. And I was I was being very polite on Twitter. They only engaged with me twice, but they, I swear they deleted one of the co comments because one of them told me to contact uh, Rog. One told me to contact a different Asus department and and something else. But I can't find the tweet. And I think they've deleted it because they're pussies. <laughs> I don't like pussies. <laughs> Not that great. Yeah. Not that kind, anyway. <laughs> I was just to say, oh my God, doesn't like pussy. Confirmed. You heard me first, folks. Confirmed, Homer. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, if my stepmother hears this. Oh, God. <laughs> she caught, she, because, of my, because of my voice, she honestly thinks I am. <laughs> I, I just... Wow. <sighs> well. vocal pro It's called vocal profiling, everyone. It's a thing. <laughs> well, that, that's it. You you sound gay. That we're done. <laughs> You're gay. That really tickled me. Yeah. Doesn't tickle me. <laughs> I had to like actually lean in close to her and say, "I do not like it when someone thinks I like taking dick up the butt." <laughs> I do not like it. With dick in my mouth, I promise you this. I just because you've heard me get sexual with irate bed does not make me gay. <laughs> you get sexual with everyone, so do I. It's very funny. I, I don't know, man. Uh, you know, you're, you're lucky she wasn't internet trollish enough because that would have just gotten you answered back with something like, "You speaking from experience?" <laughs> yeah, if she was a troll, uh, she, she's not. She's not there yet, but one day she might well actually be one. <laughs> Uh, dear, have you joined my server? You have. Where are you? I was meant to put you on creator. Dangy, I'll find you. Fuck it. I'm being I am, uh... done the pleb. Right, there you are. There you are, yes. Yeah. Uh, I just got to make sure you have content creator privileges so you can post in certain threads. Ah. Uh, you can drop your videos in the, uh, uh, rec uh, the shameless video promotion tab. Well, okay. that I should definitely do. <laughs> you should. Yeah. I, I do generally watch things that get put in there, to be honest. Um, I don't think there's anything else I can be bothered to talk about about Asus, because I'm quite frankly fucking bored with them. <laughs> well, uh, fair enough. I, I guess the most important question I could possibly have to ask you is, have you read Pikmin's model yet? <laughs> Someone asked me that um, oh, a long time ago. Yes, and his name was Don. Was it you? It was me. And I, think, I think it was because I answered it in a stream and I was like, in my head, I was like, 
I was obsessed with, with some chemistry shit, and I was thinking, I don't know what that is. And I was like, oh my god, I know exactly what that is. Fucking hell. It's just embarrassing. Was it you? It was me. <laughs> Fuck me. I remember that. Jesus. Ah, oh, yes, I have read Big Pigman's model. Fucking hell. I'm, I don't, no let's not talk about this. Let's not talk about this. It never happened. No, but I want to know. <laughs> I need to know now. Do you want to tell her? Go on. That's fine. All right. So, so Pikmin's model is a, an original Lovecraft story. And uh, before Omegon hit 10,000, he was talking about he was going to run a, a Q&A stream. Yep. So, uh, and in some video, while he was working on announcing it, I left in the comments section, have you read Pikmin's model? And I got back, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I answered it in a I, stream with Dot Face on the stream channel, in fact, and I I answered by saying I honestly don't know because I had chemistry in my head and I was I think I talked to McGog about this once. I think I may have done so, talked about it with him, and I was just I was really embarrassed when I realized. Well, it happens. I guess uh, worst case scenario, you got the link to uh, all of Lovecraft's work online for free out of it. So <laughs> yeah, that's true because I was going to buy it. Um, and I was like, because I'd lost my original copy when uh, I moved. Um, but it is much better to have an e version, to be honest. Let's face it. I've got a Kindle just over there. I don't like it that much, but I do actually have a lot of books on there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't okay. Think I've I've actually read much love, and or maybe it's any love. You should, you should learn more about me, so you stop calling me Squiddy. <laughs> I was not influenced by Squid. <laughs> I was influenced by the law, by Cthulhu. I'm sorry, but Squiddy's just stuck now. Right next to me, I have a blue Cthulhu <laughs> mask, and because it's that time of year, tomorrow's gonna be really dark when I leave the house. I'm gonna wear that, and if I see a child, I'm gonna put it on, lean around, and just scare the shit out of them. <laughs> I've been able to wear my giant purple monster hat again. It's been amazing. I've been wearing a, you know those, that uh, Yushanka hat, the, the one with the big floppy ears, you know, the thing yeah, Brandon McCann wears. Yeah, I was wearing it this evening, going out of the house, and a, and a hoodie and a coat, just so I don't get ill. Basically, I'm just covering my my bases because I don't. When I, when I'm congested or I have a sore throat, yeah, you can tell when this voice is is fucked. Okay. <laughs> This voice is, is it's all I've got, okay? Oh, it's it's bless good you. when this voice is pissed off, and it's not good when this voice is congested. I thought you uh, had well, know your strengths, I guess. Well, well yeah, but I was... You my, can't my, just my, yourself. This isn't good. My, my current <laughs> strength is coming from these um, menthol sweets called Farmer's Friends. They're really good. Ah, oh, those things are yeah. strong as fuck. I know. <laughs> Wow, it's so good. They look like, you know, like a look. hurricane going through your nasal passages. They look like <laughs> they look right. So we have a pleco fish downstairs. It, the, the, the sweets look like pleco food. <laughs> the tablets they look just like them. Brilliant. It looks like an algae tablet. I love it. Yeah. Anyway, did either of you want to shill yourselves before we left? Sure. Go for it. I will happily do so again. I'm Don of the Two Plebs Talk News Channel. Uh, I host a five-day-a-week news show with a good friend of mine named Peter. We talk about whatever it is we find in the news that's important uh, every day of the week. We don't generally take breaks, so we'll probably always be there. And uh, it's about 20 minutes per news story, so none of this shotgun news kind of thing that you get from mainstream media where you get your 20 seconds. We, we try and cover everything, and we go back and correct ourselves if we're wrong. And it is youtube.com slash two plebs talk news. I'm also on Twitter at uh, at two underscore plebs. If you find anyone on social media that is answering you, it's probably me. Peter doesn't do a lot of that. That sounds lazy. <laughs> well, I also render the videos. The so, you know. uh, just to make sure that. Um, oh, hello. It's frozen for a second. Fuck uh -oh. it. No, it's fine. It's the old laptop. It won't matter. It'll fix itself in a moment. I will update the description to include your channel links. La Laura, did you want to shill yourself, or are you okay with me just not? Nah, it's fine. All right, I'll end this and fuck it. Thank you for listening to me whine, and for Laura and Mr. Pleb joining as well to listen to me whine. Bitch, moan, complain. Be very, very British. Yes. Yes. <laughs>